Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When a customer agrees to make a purchase for which payment will be made at a later point in time, you enter the sale into an invoice. The invoice lists the customer's information along with an itemized list of how much that customer owes for the goods or services purchased. To create an invoice, select Customers from the menu bar and then choose the Create Invoices command. The particular invoice form that is used for the transaction can be changed by using the template drop-down that appears in the upper right corner of the invoice form to select the particular type of invoice to use for the transaction. You enter customer information into the sales form by using the customer job drop-down to select a customer that you've entered into the customer list or by typing the customer information into the bill to and ship to areas of the form. If you select a customer from the drop-down, then their information will automatically populate the fields in the form. You may need to specify additional information if manually entering customer data, such as selecting the desired sales terms from the Terms drop-down, for example. Once you've entered the customer information, select the invoice date from the Date drop-down. At the bottom of the invoice, you list each item purchased on its own line by selecting a choice from the Item column in the line item area. For each line item, you also specify the quantity and amount that the customer owes for that item. In QuickBooks, you enter line item entries from the entries that are made into the item list so that you won't have to repetitively type the names of services or products that you sell frequently. Line items are also not limited to goods or services. You can enter items like discounts, subtotals, or sales tax lines. If this invoice is to be printed later, then ensure that the Print Later checkbox in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the window is checked. Now when you're finished, you can click the Save and Close button at the bottom of the window to save the invoice. If you fill out an invoice, QuickBooks places a record for the invoice into the Accounts Receivable account. If instead you are creating a sales receipt, then the amount received is typically placed into the undeposited funds account. You can see how much is in either one of these accounts by simply opening the chart of accounts. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.